its block on Corey LaJoy in turn two on the final lap of the cup race at Atlanta. What do you guys think about it? Go ahead, TJ. You're the blocking spot king. Spot on, spot off. Spot TJ. on, man. You do what it takes to win the damn race. I don't – and – I, I mean, spot on. I would have made the same damn move. I don't. It's for the win, and I don't. It's not like he turned the guy. Corey was trying to get out there the best he could, and if he if Corey made it stick, he's gonna have a damn good shot at winning the race. But you do what it takes to win without just driving through a guy, which I don't think the block. It wasn't. It wasn't as. It was a block. <clears throat> it was a block, but it wasn't like a. I hate that Corey wrecked afterwards, but I think the only reason Corey wrecked is Corey tried to make it stick anyway, and. I would have, too, at that point. Corey did what he had to do because if he did make it stick, he might win the damn race. So, spot on. Got to do what it takes to win. I'm spot off for a Corey wrecking. And, I mean, the thing is, super impressive run for the seven car. This guy goes up there, has the lead, loses the lead to Chase Elliott, takes the lead back. I mean, they are literally fighting it out at what looked like 180 miles an hour at yeah. Atlanta Motor Speedway. Super impressed by what he and TJ Bell were doing together because obviously you're utilizing your spotter in that scenario, in that situation. But if you're Corey LaJoy, you cannot wreck on the last lap. You have to either wreck Chase Elliott or you have to not wreck yourself and you have to get a good finish because how many times is Spire Motorsports going to be in position to win a race? Obviously, they won with Justin Haley. Right, they've got one win under their belt. I mean, that's but it's a, but it's not. It's, it was a rain delay deal. It's not like he went up there and battled to win it, right? But here is Corey LaJoy in a position to get himself and his team a win, and I am just spot off for the fact that he wrecked. You cannot wreck in that situation because the stat sheet is going to show you finished twentieth, and nobody's going to really remember that. It comes yeah. down to look, Chase Elliott's block. He did what he's supposed to do. One one thousand percent. Corey would have done the same thing. I hate to see that Corey wrecked. Yeah, I mean, you could see early in the race. I thought that the seven was really good. Like when guys got lined up in that middle lane, like we've seen a lot of times, the seven could pull down and drive by three or four rows of guys in a corner. Obviously, you'd come back kind of accordion style. Most cars did that. To yeah. You. Well, everybody did it to me. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. I, you can tell early, but it just sucks for Corey. But I liked what both guys said after the race is over. You know, Chase said, Chase is like, listen, I'm not going to sit on the bottom and let the guy drive around me. He's like, that's not my job. He's like, I'm not, I'm not going to pick which lane I want to lose in. He's like, I'm going to throw a block and hope that guy don't wreck. That's what he did. And unfortunately, Corey wrecked. Corey on the flip side is like, hey, I'm going for it. You know, I, this is it. You know, now maybe going for it might have been just try to shove, you know, Chase up the hill and get him out of line. Kind of like, he, yeah. you know, he kind of mm -hmm. door slammed uh, – Martin on that restart and kind of move Martin up to get the lead off of two. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. I don't, I don't fault either one of them by any means, you know, um, and, and, and Corey will learn from that. He's in a better position now, next time going forward. I think the biggest mistake Corey made in this whole process was coming to or taking the two to go. It's kind of the Cardinal sin of plate racing. He let the nine that was outside. You don't, he didn't protect his right rear quarter down the front stretch and let the nine back to the outside of him. And that put the nine in control of what happened on the last lap. If you make that block and you hold the top, now you're kind of in control of what's going to happen here. And now you're, it's your decide. You, are you throwing this block to block the nine and whatever? Mm -hmm. But but you kind of took the control of the race and gave it to the nine in that situation by not blocking the top, which we've seen all weekend there was just pivotal in you, you have to protect that right rear quarter. And unfortunately, coming to – or just after they took two to go coming out of front, Corey let him back to the top. It's also – it's a plate race, but it's also – that place is a place you can throw a block and get away with it like that. Like you can, you can really, you can't get away. You would never get away with that block at Talladega. Like no. he, Corey would have got be, around yeah. it. So, I really enjoyed spotting that race because at a plate track, Haley, we've got our binoculars up literally 95% of the lap. And there, I think I put my binoculars up five times all day. I mean, it was literally the naked eye because, and, and the thing was, it's like they were going slow. You know what I mean? From where our angle was and how high. Well, I know Bubble was going slow, Freddie, but like it's just like everybody was not like wide open. At the end of the race, as we got more cloud cover and shade in turn one and two, you could tell they were ripping wide open. When but the one guy, it out was front. it was a fun race to spot because I didn't have my binoculars up the whole time. Like I got to enjoy the race, even though I was spotting it. And we and I talked as much yesterday as I probably ever talked in my life. I had to change the battery. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we look. I'm getting really good at getting my people through wrecks man like i'm getting good at it so 
Every wreck <laughs> yesterday was in the front. Like it, there wasn't a wreck where you were like, "Oh, spin behind not, you." Not everyone. I saw a couple back there by yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> we like, uh, spin in front of you. Brrr, good luck. Yeah. So the the wreck that caught me off guard really quick was Denny's in the three there. That I'm looking in front because we're 18th, 20th in that area. We're gonna follow Denny back up through a little bit, and we're going on the back stretch. And I'm like. I look back and there's smoke right in front of us. I'm like, oh, Jesus. It was not. That's ideal. always fun. Yeah. It's time for you to sell your home and make that big move. Let our friends at OfferPad remove all the worry and hassle. Get started today at OfferPad.com.